your clipper is you must make sure that the debris is out so you want to take these two screws loose take the blade off first you open up the take the two blades off you open up make sure there's no okay so there's no de hair in the debris usually it's a bunch of stuff caked up in between these two blades that you got to clean out I probably cleaned it out already so you just make sure there's it's nice and clean like that the next thing is this when you turn your clip on this white thing is your tension spring that tension spring vibrates from right to left right to left right to left this sits on the tension spring and this blade moves right to left right to left but if you have debris caked up around this tension spring this movement from right to left is slowed down which causes you to have problems so you got to take, as you can see, look at that hair. You got to take and clean all that hair out of there. Clean all that hair out of there. Now, once you clean all the hair out, some clippers have a little rubber foam that sits back there. You just make sure the rubber foam is in there, nice and neat, and then everything is clean. And then you push, you put it. Now that you got all this debris now, out, when it comes to the tensioning, tension of the blade, remember the tension is the tightness between this blade and that blade. So the first thing you want to do is you take the blade of loose. Take the blade. Take the top blade off. And if you sit this blade on, it should actually sit up like this on its own. Because when you take this comb blade and place it on top, you'll see it sits up. When you tighten it, look what happens. When we tighten it, it see how it pushes down that pressure from this blade pushes up and the pressure from this blade when the screws is in it push down now what happens a lot of times over time this tension spring start to sit down like that can you see that the tension spring starts to naturally sit like that when you take it off that means that blade if the tension spring is naturally sitting low then that means your tension going to be weak if it sit up like that that means the pressure from your bottom blade tension pressure will be good so what will you need to do if it sits too low you need to take your index finger push it and bend it up like that so you take and you pull bend up and keep bending until your tension spring sits above this back black bar of the clipper sits above this as well it should be higher 
See, when my finger's here, it's here. When I go up here, I got to come up. Your tension spring should sit up so that when you put your cutter blade on, it sits up. When you put this top blade on, it sits up. And with it sitting up, as soon as you put these two screws in, notice what happens. This is how you know you have proper tension. I'll show you. So the blade is sitting up. Watch what happens when I go to tighten. The blade push down. So that means now this screws push this down and the tension at the bottom on the cutter blade is pushing up, causing proper tightness. Now that blade will work just fine. But of course you gotta make sure you loosen it a little bit before you fully tighten. Make sure you set the blade close as it could be and then hold it in place and then you wanna tighten it. And now the blade looks set. When open, it's even across from both sides when closed, it's nice and even. The next thing is making sure it's well lubricated. All you have to do is use blade booze, and it's a spray tip. You turn the clipper on, and you spray in between. Move it back and forth. And boy, oh boy, you'll see the difference when you turn that clipper on and the motion and the mobility. As far as the lever, you just want to make sure your lever is not too loose and it moves when only when you touch it if it too loose you touch it this blade will slide back and forth on its own and to stop that you just make sure you tighten this up really good so the lever should only move the blade should only move when you touch the lever if this blade slides back and forth on its own up and down that means you have the lever needs to be tightened we gonna conclude with some music by putting his blues back in the barn.